Hey everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. Uh, so, it's Monday. It's time for some collage. I feel like I haven't been up in my craft room much this last week. Um, I have been, but <laughs> I just feel like I haven't been. Okay, I'm going to quickly flip through. Oh, look. We're going to do another one with maps today. Yeah, I know. I spoiled a little bit of it for you. Quickly flip through the last few, or, you know, the collages I've done so far this year. Uh, and then this is what we did last week. So, really, really love this. This is outside of my norm. I am not one to really think um, to do a lot of seaside or ocean or water, on the water, anything. Uh, so this one was a lot of fun for me. So, okay, let's go ahead and see what our prompts are for this week. We're on week number 17 already. Uh, okay, so something round, a piece of map, a shoe, a tool your grandparents would have used, a postal item, and then bonus is one of the elements torn apart. So, here we go. So, something round. Um... I went to my John Darian sticker book, uh, which you can find on Amazon if you want, and I found this sticker, and I want to use this. So, we're going to take this one out. I thought this would be a bit of a challenge um, for me, so I'm going to go ahead and just, yeah, I guess I'm doing it, aren't I? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me get rid of some of the sticky from it. And I'll set this off to the side. I thought this would be a fun one to incorporate. So, Okay, so number two, a piece of map. Um, I got a couple of options. So I've got pieces of maps. <laughs> I went through my uh, scraps uh, bundle, you know, my all my scraps. So, um... These are just various pieces of maps. I don't... I think this is the right... Yeah, that has to be the right way. Um, and then, before that, though, I found these little bags of map design. These came from Joann's. If you don't know, Place and Time is the Joann's brand, which I would have bought these a while back. I don't know if they even have them anymore, but... Um, glassine bags is what these are so I don't know if I'll use all of these uh, this one does stick out but ooh, that kind of looks good together and then these are just totally different style so I don't know we'll see how we'll see how that goes okay a shoe I'm not gonna do that um, a tool your grandparents would have used I'm gonna do two different tools or multiples of tools Okay, so my grand, I'm gonna, and these are grandparents from my mom's side. Uh, unfortunately, my grandfather, my grandpa, passed away when I was pretty young, so I didn't really know him much um, other than from, you know, when I was a kid. And uh, he was a carpenter, and I just, rem when I think of my grandpa, I think of a hammer. <laughs> um, so. So, this came from this book, which I bought on a whim from the uh, Goodwill, I think. Um, probably paid a dollar for it. And, you know, I've used this thing more often than I ever would have thought. <laughs> so, anyway, I pulled out some pages from this book, and I'll use um, bits and pieces from that. So, we've got this claw hammer, and then, fortunately, on the other side, we can use this stuff, too, maybe. And then... Um, you know, I have to have a cross cut saw in there too. And actually I have some of his tools and I still use them, um, all the time actually, <laughs> uh, for just whatever various projects I got going on. Um, uh, so, okay. So there's that. And then for my grandma, um, at the end of her life, she got really interested in painting, um, randomly. And so funny enough, when I think of a tool in relation to my grandma, um, I think of like painting and a paintbrush and things. So these were, uh, from Daphne's diary that I, uh, used in a project last week and 
I had remembered that they were still there. And so I thought, well, I'll go ahead and use these. She actually didn't do watercolor. Well, maybe she did, but I just remember she really liked oil painting um, more. So, but this would apply too. So, so we've got that, uh, postal item. Okay. Um, also from a project that I did last week, uh, I have pulled these two out from Daphne's diary. Um, so I thought, well, maybe I could use one or two of both of those. Also, I grabbed some stickers that are postage stamps. So we've got doubles here. So I feel like I've got two different styles going on. Um, but maybe I can make make it all work together. Um, obviously, I won't use all of these, but these are kind of cool, huh? Um, so I picked these up. I don't remember even where. I don't know that you can even get this anymore. So I won't even bother. And then as I was going through my scraps and stuff, uh, this was another off-cut uh, scrappy piece from... I don't remember what project, but I thought for sure I could find a way to use this somehow in my collage this week. So, oh, and then the bonus, which I guess I have to do because I'm not going to incorporate a shoe, is one of the elements torn apart. So could easily do that. I uh, don't know how yet, but I just had an idea. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, so first, and, first things first... I'm gonna, I think, fussy cut. I wanna fussy cut? Yeah, I'm gonna fussy cut out um, some of these tools and I'll be back and probably prep some more things, so. Alrighty then, so I was just kinda thinking um, a little bit about what I wanted to do, colors and, yeah, so uh, I think I think these colors will work okay together. Um, this could be a bridge to this from this. And this one's a little bit vintage and distressed looking too. And I could, yeah, I can incorporate. So, okay, I, I think I'll do that. I'm not going to use this piece. I think this is just too yellow. It's got too much of a yellow tone to it. So, I'm not going to do this one, so I'll put that off to the side. Um, also, I chose to only cut out um, these two tools. These, it's funny. These two, <laughs> uh, this hammer especially, um, is the exact hammer that I remember the most about my grandpa. Um, even down to the kind of grunginess of the handle. His was a blue handle. Um, and I have this hammer and I use it all the time. <laughs> um, and this too, I have his, um, saw, um, that looks just like, I mean, obviously it's, his is older and has actual saw marks <laughs> or saw teeth. Um, but yeah, it's really funny. <laughs> it's really interesting. So, okay. So we've got little bits and pieces. I've cut this one out just a little bit. So I'll incorporate that. Okay. Um, and then... I went and screwed this up. <laughs> I was uh, using my ruler and tearing, and I didn't have a good enough hold, and it totally ripped the wrong way. So I'm going to have to figure out how to work with that. I'll just cover this piece of it maybe with something else, which will be easy enough. Okay, so I think I'll start with my bigger pieces and go from there. Um, I have to... I have to... One of the elements needs to be torn apart. So how shall I do that? You know, I immediately thought I could rip this down the middle and put this on either side of my page, maybe, which would bridge the gap. Why don't I go ahead and do that? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just fold it here. I don't think I've ever folded a sticker like this before. <laughs> uh, let's see. And it says torn, so I'm going to tear it, not cut it. So hopefully I can do this without ruining it very carefully. Well, almost that way. Okay, so we'll put this kind of... Not in the center, but just 
up from the, just up from the center. Okay, and I'm not gonna. How do I want it? Put it the other direction. Yeah, maybe I like it better this way. Boy, I wish I wouldn't have done that. Okay, so. Push this into the middle as much as I can. It's kind of hard because it's there's like a kind of a hump there, but that'll work. Okay, and then I definitely want to use this, and pretty obvious that I could put this there like that, and slide this in there, maybe the other direction so that we don't have to see all the words. Okay, so that can stay, and then we've got this map, which could go, I don't know, something like that. Um, we've got, maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do this hide that a little bit and then do I use this or not let's see kind of loading up the left side over here huh um hmm <laughs> Okay, so I've still got my little tools, which this could obviously come in from the side down here, and we could do this, maybe something like that, and then shall I use this? It kind of blends in. Hmm. might be too much honestly so then okay now I'm thinking is this a is this gonna be this easy seriously um you know I should find a ship because my grandpa was in the Navy and that would be kind of cool if I found something that was kind of Navy-ish maybe like okay um I'm really happy with this layout to be honest with you so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just glue this down and um, put on some final touches. So, oops. So I'll do that on fast forward and I'll be right back with you.
Okay, so I've gotten this far. I'm very happy with this, really. Um, I think it's really interesting. Um, very unexpected. <laughs> okay, so let's see what I can find for some kind of ship. And, you know, it doesn't have to be a modern ship. So something like this could work very fine, very well. Um, even potentially this. Uh, I just know it would represent my grandpa from being in the Navy. So let's see. I could even do that. What do we got here? Airmail. I like that one. Colors would work, although I wish it was maybe more of a contrasting color, but okay. And that would work too, but not my favorite of those choices. So, all right. So I think I'm actually going to do this one and that one for sure. I really like those colors. Uh, and so then we need a third one somewhere. Let's see which one. Um, oh, I didn't even look at that one, but that one could work too. Uh, let's see. What's that say? It's another airplane. Maybe that one. I did like that one, didn't I? Blue, blue, and green. This red is really punching out at me. I don't know if I want to use it though. Okay, so let's see. Let's finish this collage up. So I've got this one. I don't know how sticky these are. I, these are kind of old, so it might not be super sticky anymore. Okay, so we've got that. Set that there. And this one. Well, why don't I just do that? I like that. Sorry, I need to check my phone. One second. Okay. Um, and then we've got maybe this one. Where else? Over here? No. So we've got stamps over here. Just look one more time. <laughs> I'm just not sure. Uh, well, this one's interesting too. I remember my grandparents that we loved to go camping, or they did. And, you know, as a kid, I went along. <laughs> and it wasn't this exactly, but we pulled a camper. with It was, it was a fifth-wheel camper on my grandpa's truck. Um, okay, well, I'm getting all kinds of reminiscent here. I think I'll go ahead and use this. The colors work. Means something, sort of, to me. <laughs> okay, so... Go there. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Well, go ahead and glue these down then.
Hey guys, <laughs> we have ourselves a collage. I love it. It's just so interesting and different. So, all right. Well, that's it for me today. Hope you guys have fun and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.